Kia ora te whanau, no mai hoki mai. Now that the hosting uh, options for iX Glow One for Debtbox are available, I want to give you a quick breakdown on how this works and just the information about the hosting actual tokens and the process and how we can actually pay for it. Okay, so as you can see here, I'm logged into an account. So if you want to follow along, go to the left onto your menu in the debt box, come down and click on hosting. And then when you hit the hosting page, you'll notice that we have a more details option right here. So we want to click on that. Now I'm just going to explain this to you and how the actual tokens work. So as you can see, in this account, I have one license, okay? I also have 14 credits, okay? And cycles remaining is 14, which is basically 14 days, okay? Because you can see here that it ends on February the 16th. It is now the 2nd. So this is 14 days. So one credit represents one day for one license, okay? So now that we understand that, what you need to take into consideration is that if you have purchased a node prior to January the 4th, they require hosting by purchasing hosting. However, if you have purchased a license this year after the 4th of January, you would have received 365 credits with that license. Okay, one for each day, you get a free year's hosting. Now what you need to understand is that those 365 credits are not just for that license if you have more licenses in your account. Now let me just show you what I mean. Okay, so this account here you can see I have seven licenses. Okay, I have 780 credits and I have cycles remaining 111. Okay, so I have in this account there is licenses from 2022 okay the way that this works is that the total amount of credits in your account will be divided between how many licenses you have okay it doesn't matter if they were from 2022 or 2023 if you if, I, if there's seven licenses they will consume credits from the 780 okay so that's why you might see uh, if you go into your account, you might see that you have got you have bought a license in 2022 and you have bought a license in 2023 and your hosting won't run out until, in my case, in this account, it's May 24. Okay, so just understand that when you put credits in this account, when you buy a hosting or you have any credits in this account, all the licenses will consume these. Okay, so just to push that home, if we come back to this example, if there was two licenses in here, there would only be seven days remaining, okay, because each license would consume seven credits, okay. So just understand that, that all the credits that are in the account get consumed by all the licenses at that one time. They don't recognise that the licence was from 2022 or that it's from 2023. They just see that there's, for example, Two licenses, and you've got 100 credits. Each license will get 50 credits, okay? Evenly, all right? They consume evenly. So that's why you might see that you, uh, even though we need hosting, you might not need it until, you know, another couple of months because you've got enough credits to cover all your licenses for the next few cycles, okay? So that's the first part of it that I wanted you to understand with this. The second thing is that if you need to purchase hosting, hosting, you can do so directly here in the debt box. Okay, so if we click on manage, and then uh, actually it's not manage. Let me just it's add. Sorry. So if we click on add up here, just let that go through. You can see add hosting time. Okay, so if we click on add hosting time. Here, we can, 12 cycles, this, is, this shows us how much in debt token. Now, understand at the moment, at the time of this video, you can only purchase hosting using the debt token. All right, that's what you need to, to get. And I'm gonna show you how to get that in a minute. So you can see here, you can do three months or you can do one year. Okay, and this is how much debt token you will need. All right. So if we go to, now this is if you wanna purchase hosting directly 
in the debt box. Okay. Now, if we go to IX Global and we come down to go to products in your dashboard, if we click on that, let's wait for that to load, and now we click on Xnode account, you can see that we can also buy additional hosting credits here. And if I click on this, it'll give you the option for 30 days or 365 days. So if you want 30 days, this is for one license. If you've got five license, then you would need to do this, okay? And now when you submit, it'll take you to the debt box. So it's literally the same payment system, just a different way of getting it, all right? So you'll need to uh, you know, log in, and then you'll pay with the debt token as well, okay? So just understand that, that either way, you're gonna have to pay with the debt token. You're gonna need the debt token to pay your hosting. Okay. Now, if you have never purchased the debt token before, there are a few ways that you can do it. Okay. Now, you can use any current tokens. So if you have any perpetual licenses or you've rented any nodes and you have actual tokens in your balance, in your wallet balance, in your account. Uh, so if I just get rid of this and I come back here and I come back down to wallets. Um, so right now I actually have the debt token in this account, okay, so I can purchase hosting directly because you need, if you, when you purchase hosting, you need the debt token to be in your debt wallet, okay, so you have to make sure because that's where it's going to take it from when you, when you get the hosting, all right, but if you have any other token, for example, if you have XBLR or you've got other nodes, you could have NatG, you could have, you know, um, grow. If you have tokens in your wallet, then using the app, the Xnode app, you can, uh, let me just show you. So if we go down here uh, and we just get into the app. So for example, any token that you have in here, if you've withdrawn from any of your rewards, so for example, if we go to rewards and I go to XBLR, and if I had some, if I had enough in here, I could withdraw them into my mining balance, into my wallet balance, okay. And then once I have them in the wallet, I can then you know open up. If you're in the app on your phone, you can swap any token like this. You can swap any token uh, for the debt token, and then it will be in your debt wallet. Now, if you want to do do it another way, if you look at this video that I created, it shows you. Uh, how to take your debt wallet, this one here, and import it into MetaMask. Okay, now if you've got it imported into MetaMask, you can then purchase the debt token through PancakeSwap, which is a decentralized exchange. Okay, so let me just show you that quickly here. Uh, PancakeSwap. So you can see here, so I actually have this debt wallet imported into MetaMask. So you can see here, I have 0 0.09 BNB, I had 12 debt, 12.6 debt, and I have 33 XBLR. If we come back to our debt wallet, I have 12.6, uh, 0 0.9, so, and you can see here, 33. So it's the same wallet, all right? I have the same wallet. The debt wallet is here, I've also imported the debt wallet, which I, which I mentioned, watch that video, and now I have it in here. So once you have the MetaMask wallet and you have your debt wallet imported, you can then connect to what's called PancakeSwap. And PancakeSwap is where you can purchase, you can, you can swap any of your tokens, it could be XPLR, it could be Grow, it could be anything. Uh, you can swap them um, for the debt token in here. And if you're using your, your debt wallet in MetaMask, it will automatically show up okay, in your debt wallet as well, because they're the same wallet, it's just they're using different UIs to actually uh, access them. One is the debt website, the other is MetaMask, it's exactly the same wallet. So whatever you do in MetaMask will be the same as what reflects into the debt wallet, okay, into your debt, so into the, into the, the debt box wallet uh, on the site in your account. Okay, so now just take into consideration that when you do swap or sell a token, you will lose 10%, okay? So that's just standard, it's a transaction, you know, it's a tax. 
So for example, if I wanted to swap this 333 XBLR for some debt, I couldn't do the full 33. I would have to minus 10% off this because you watch what will, I'll just show you what will happen. If I go to max, all right, and I come down here and I push click on swap, accept. And now if I go to confirm swap, it'll give me an error. See this? And the reason why it's giving you that error is because when you sell any token or swap it, apart from the debt token, but all the other ones, XBLR, Grow, all the other ones, you've got to allow that 10%. So if I take 10% off that, well, let's just do it. I'll, I'll, I'll add 300, okay? Uh, and I won't be able to do that because it's got to be 10%. So 10% off 300 is, yeah, that's about right. Okay, so let, let me show you again. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say, I'll take 10% off that and I'll put 300. Okay, and now I'll swap. And now when I confirm swap, it shouldn't give me an error. See? Okay, so you've got to take that into consideration. All right, always take that into consideration that you're going to lose 10%. You can't do the maximum amount that you have in your wallet. Take 10% off and then uh, and then you'll be able to swap it. Okay, and then once it's in, once once you've watched that video that I show you how to import the debt wallet into your MetaMask, then it's straight in there and then you can access it. So now it will show up here and you'll be able to purchase hosting directly from here. Okay, and just make sure that you understand is that when you buy through, if you want to buy hosting through uh, your back office in IX Global, like I, like I showed you just previously, it's the same wallet, all right? So you will need DIP token in here. Now, you can purchase the DEP token on centralized exchanges, okay? And there's a few. There's uh, Gate.io, uh, there's Bitru, there's Exmo, there's Albank, uh, and Bitmart. So if you're in the US, uh, you can use Bitmart, which is this one here. So I've just got this pre-prepared already. So you can see here, uh, if you go and create an account on Bitmart, if you're in the US, you can do that. And this here is using the debt USDT pair. So if you've got USDT, uh, you know, which you can also swap for any token inside your, uh, you know, app, your dip, your Xnode app, then you can just send it to Bitmart and swap it for debt. But then just realize that you're going to have to send the debt token when you've got it in here from Bitmart, you'll have to send it to your debt box um, wallet address, or if you have it imported into MetaMask to that address. Let me just show you, I just want to make this clear. So see, you can see here, if I just copy this and uh, just show you here, and I just paste that, okay, you can see that these are the last four letters, 3257, okay, of the address in MetaMask. If we come to Debt Wallet, 3257. It is the same, it is the same wallet, okay? It's the same wallet. So you just got to understand that it's the same wallet. A lot of people can't get their head around that, but it's the same wallet, okay? And so that's that, all right? So uh, let me just have a look and make sure. Now, one other thing to take into consideration is that when you are in the hosting here, more details. Now, if you uh, have rented a node, okay, which is for normally 60 days, the actual hosting credits won't show up here. So don't stress out. They will still mine, but the actual hosting credits uh, won't turn up there, okay? You won't see them, they're not visible, all right? So I think that's covered everything. Uh, as long as you understand that, you know, the credits that are in here, all the licenses that are in here will consume the credits. Like if you uh, buy one perpetual license now and get 365 credits, those 365 credits will go towards the total in here and all licenses will use them, not just the one perpetual license that you purchased. Okay, so I hope that has helped and if you uh, want to ask any questions or you're very new, you don't know anything about this project, I'll leave some links in the description uh, about the debt box and IX Global. An, it's an incredible project, uh, the best on planet Earth for sure. Uh, there's, so many there's so many variables to it where you can make money. But uh, definitely join the Discord channel uh, if you're new to crypto and you know, you, you know, you've got a lot of questions that you need answered, uh, join the Dis Discord channel, uh, and we've got people in there that are very smart and they'll help you out. And uh, you know, if you enjoyed this video and it was valuable to you, leave a like, leave a comment, I'll an I answer all comments, um, and give me a subscribe if you're that way inclined.
and you, and you want to see more from this channel. Have yourself an amazing day and I hope to see you in the Discord channel. Take care.